vice versa, people are coming in with their stuff. Like, you know, it's bagel. They should just charge, like, if you get a bagel and a dollar and a coffee or something. Yeah, most people are. They do that at Sully's. Sully's bagels. You can go in for a schmear. Uh, you get a schmear and a coffee is only like 50 cents or something. Well, I mean, really, the, the coffee is all profit, right? It costs you like three cents a cup or something. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Lynn's already did 10 of them in, yeah. Lindsay? Yeah, I don't think it was anything she did specifically. I think it was a repeated penalty that they finally nailed. And she finally got nailed for it. I think she smashed the other Oh, she did? Oh, okay. I can't, that's the thing, I can't see anything through this stupid little, uh... What's cooking good looking? How you doing, baby? I wish I had a girlfriend that would do that. Yeah. Hey, Garth. It's the worst, the most obvious. I'm just going to turn it off, man. There must be a way to turn it off. There must be a view. Turn down your yeah, they've been strong. We've been a little slow to break down as well. I think it's a scene where he's like, yeah. 
Yeah. You may also yeah. just not want it. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have, you have the right to decline it. Yeah. 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 I don't know. I know. I don't have an answer for you.
Get her out of here, Randy. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I was still the first one. <laughs> you played way more rugby than me. Number four! <laughs> it should be you. How does it go? Objective video. We're going to put the instant replay up on the screen here, guys. <laughs> there was a performance. Number four. Yeah, I didn't see how it started. This one, you find it out of the Get her out of here. Why should we get her case now? They already dropped it. Oh, There's a bit of a dust up. I think you ate our yellow card. I would let that slip. That's the that's the softest that's the softest. Let me make this better. Both of you, because you were both involved. No, no, no. No, no, no. no. Oh, no. 
with the feet. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's taking your spot on that team. I'm not still on 24. That's everybody. Remember he, he came to sub for us at uh, SFU when he was like 3 8, and we put him on as a sub. And 10 minutes later, he needed a sub. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I mean, aside from that boxing he was doing this summer, he hasn't done a whole lot of fitness, right? Yeah. Yeah, he was just like, I gotta work my own stuff. So, like, Oh, it doesn't help that he lives above the subway. Does he move around? I think he said he knows the time that the cookies are discounted because they're gonna almost never leave once they go down there. Same one as your two bins at the box. No, don't throw that out. Just put it in my bag. Just a bit outside. <laughs> extra little aggression. Extra little bit of extra little bit of criminal. <laughs> I woke up, my shins just hurt you so much because I guess I got oh, destroyed. I, did, right? I need to go to bed. 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 I need to go you and me are like looking at each other like, oh, we're going to have to fight these guys. <laughs> Everybody was so bad on the trailer. <laughs> oh. Bree's the kind of guy that would pick a fight with a deaf guy and be like, well, he started to flash his gang signs at me. <laughs> I think we're close, yeah. Yeah, yeah there we go. Yeah, they brought in wherever number four went. Here she comes. I'll find the corner.
Maybe for some <laughs> Maybe, yeah. She like sat down. Sat down. Yes, Hannah. Yeah. I read Artie Lang's biography a couple years ago. He almost OD'd a lot of times. Like, he had a horrible cocaine problem. Or cocaine and heroin. What's the name of the guy who was on SNL? He's a really good guy. He's really good for the Guy? Chris Farley? Yeah. Uh, Artie Lang is telling a story about Chris Farley. He's like, he went in the bathroom with Artie Dick. Uh, Andy, Andy Dick, Dick, yeah. And he comes down and he's just like, he's like, there's two reasons he went in the bathroom with Andy Dick. And he just goes, like, damn, I wish my hope he's hot. Right. Oh. And Andy Dick by Julie Davis Ride. Where is now Carolina 19? 38. I hate Andy Dick, man. He's the reason Phil Hartman died. Let's go, Cap! Let's go, Stacy! I watched the uh, the new Pat Oswalt stand up special last night. Oh, is it good? Yes. It's also horribly sad. Yes. Because, like, half of his material is about how his, like, wife died, right? Oh. And it's like, yeah, you're laughing. It's funny, it's clever. But you can clearly see the, like, pain in his face as he's like, telling it, too. He, like, he goes into how he had to tell his daughter, like, what happened. It's like, oh my god, how would... Yeah. How did she die? Uh, they figure it was a sleeping pill thing. So like she couldn't sleep, so she went to bed. Uh, couldn't sleep, so took some sleeping pills, went to bed. Norm actually, or not Norm, uh, Pat actually like woke her up the next morning. Uh, it's like, hey, I'm taking, I'm taking Alice to school. She goes, oh, okay, that's fine. Makes her coffee, puts it beside her bed. She rolls over and goes back to sleep and takes her daughter to school and comes back. And Just like sometime in those like couple hours she died, yeah. Like obviously nothing you could you could do or foresee or, or anything. Austin, ten dollars. Pay me. <laughs> you want to take it to you? Twenty dollars. Pay me. Where are you going, friend?
Hey, what's up, Wolves? Wolves, you're never coming back. <laughs> All right. Didn't like what I was doing? Uh, I wasn't paying attention to what you were doing. I wasn't paying attention to what you were doing, but I have uh, I have issue control issues. That's right. <laughs> Someone called me neurotic the other day, and I started to try and argue, then I was like, oh, you know what? Can't argue with that. It's all full, the gravel field's all full. Yeah, it's yeah. Bad. It smokes. Yeah, I'm sure they left off the I can't see the end of the gravel Oh, it looks like maybe. Yeah, it's all full of gravel. It's a hard part, like, you know, in the middle. It's a hard part, it's like, very broad. It's like, almost like a hospital. And I had, like, two bands through, like, four years. I don't know. Yes. Come on, girl. You got it.
sir. Let's blow the whistle here. I don't know how, like, take that. Like, 
a cheap strap. Yeah. She goes with this one yeah. like, He's got a pretty good chin. Like, it's not like he's a no chin, no chin jerk. Like, everybody did it. Spin it. Get it out there. Get it out there. Spin it. One more. There we go. Get the get the get. Ah! I was like, you know what? So always go flying and take a lead and do a loop. Oh yeah. No, it's called the wa it's the It was the Wallabies game. You, may, you say the name of the team that wins. Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Hey, there we go. Thank you. I did watch that. No, he made yeah, he made that you two were shut down the first yeah, first seven minutes of the game, but then to put them up, because they were up nineteen to eight, no, twenty to eighteen. And then it was like still in their half, but it was like fifty three meters right there in the dark. So the ratio if you combine all the points on the team is like uh, oh yeah, of course. The story is now Cavalier on Morning Ball and Burning Lake Union. Congratulations to both teams on High Clock Game.